There are some very iconic views and vistas in and out of the garden as you walk. Uh, one of my favourites and one that you never really tire of is looking out over the trachycarpus into the middle of the garden. You can just see that sort of delicate change in form of leaf, in particular at this time of year with the beech just starting to drop their leaves. Uh, and as you move through into December, it's very much about the sort of open view. Um, you've got some of the camellias starting to come into flower. In particular, um, you've got the Nobilissima, uh, a lovely pure white camellia. Uh, and then this will just be a riot of colour as we head through into spring. The Sasanqua camellias are still flowering away in the garden. One that's just coming to flower into December is, this is Dazzler. Um, it's a particular favourite of mine. It's a really sort of vivid pink flower and it has a delicate scent as well. So we're stopping and just having a sniff. If you're looking for that exotic mix of foliage and form, Stuart Hill is one of the best places in the garden. A real mix with all those different sort of exotic plants, in particular the Tetrapanax. This is Tetrapanax papyrifera rex. It has these wonderful, huge palmate leaves, um, second only really to the gunner for scale. But it also has these lovely flowers at this time of year which stand out against those leaves. So a rather nice architectural plant. Over the last five or six years, the Acer plantation just next to and just along from Alice's seat has really come into its own. Uh, they've got to a sort of mature size now uh, where they're really starting to fill and you get these fantastic autumn displays. The great thing about this space is it's very much sheltered from other parts of the garden. So even when Storm Bert rolled through, um, it didn't really disturb them too much. So they're still carrying good autumn colour. We're actually going to add some more aces into this space, so it's something to look forward to in the future as they mature and then add to this fantastic display. The Acer collection actually extends down and beyond Alice's seat and down onto Radiata Path and you can see some other wonderful examples here. Many of these Acers were actually chosen for their stem interests as well, so they'll have colourful stems, uh, whether it be sort of reds, oranges, uh, sometimes a sort of a bright green. So that's an added bonus as you go through the winter months. So these were also chosen for their size. A lot of these are actually quite compact, um, so they won't dominate this space. Two, three, maybe four meters max. Um, so we could actually fit more in. And I think that's quite often uh, the mistake you can make in a garden is planting too big, plants that get too big and dominate a space. Whereas these, we can fit more in and add interest throughout the seasons. It's that time of the year again and the gunner have finally gone into their sort of winter slumber. The team have been busy just tidying them up really. Uh, they normally die back at this time of the year anyway, so they're really just cleaning them up, uh, putting the stems underneath and just putting those little umbrellas off. It's not so much for protection, uh, more for aesthetics. Even as we head into December, there's still some seasonal colour coming through with the salvias, some of the fuchsias, and even one of my favourite roses, uh, Rosa uh, Cherry Bonica. But we're going to add a bit more seasonal interest as we head through into the winter months. So we'll be br bringing in uh, more sort of colour with bulbs uh, and things like um, your violas, uh, wallflowers. So we'll be adding a few little touches just to keep the colour going through the winter months. <laughs> 